Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. If you just close your eyes and imagine that you can almost smell the brats cooking. Nothing says football season like a good old-fashioned matchup in the Big Ten as two old conference rivals square off in this one. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Doty has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Bryant from the two. Across the 30. And he shoved out of bounds at the 45-yard line. you got to love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Side. He fights forward to about the 46. That's good for a gain of one yard. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. He scrambled. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. This is a pretty tough guy, and he's a great leader. He's going to do whatever it takes to help his team. From the 37-yard line, first down. Down he goes, right around the 28-yard line. Fires quickly to the tight end. And they push him out around the five-yard line. Four. They're knocking on the door. Harris gains about five yards on the run. for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. And he hits the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. The Sooners enter today's game ranked number 14 in the country 
and believing that they're under rank. And for North Texas, they're staring squarely at a six-game losing streak. The Sooners are out front, 3-0. In another game, let's take a look at Lawrence. And for Oklahoma State, they've now dropped three in a row. And for Reddick, a huge day with four touchdown strikes. The Jayhawks win it by 19. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. They line up to kick this one away. Love from the 7. He's out to the 30. Brought down to 39-yard line. Indiana's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's going to try and scramble. He's at midfield, and he's tackled at the 43. That's good for the team. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. This young man has just established himself as the school's most prolific quarterback. Is he the best quarterback they've ever seen around here? You can make a pretty good argument. Nice run there. Indiana's not only looking to win this one, but they could set some records along the way. I mean, that's secondary to the real work. First of all, you want to win the football game. They'll get him for a loss. From the 30-yard line, second down. And they hit him in the backfield. The crowd really making it difficult. throw and he's taken down at the 25 yard line that was a well designed and executed pattern but on third down and forever it just wasn't enough it's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it throws it to the outside and it's intercepted by the senior cornerback. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. Michigan is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled at the positive yardage. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 25. Black five, black five. Blue 20. Run, 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 run. They go with a toss. Knocked out of bounds. Around the 43 yard line. Defense was a little bit slow in reacting to the pitch out, and he had the time and space to break open for a good game. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Tackle around the 47-yard line.
after one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. 7-0, Wolverine. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Gets out to around the 38. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the 38-yard line, first down. Michigan is up a score. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Tackle made around the 26-yard line. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. It's second and ten. Ball on the 26. He's taken down right around the 18-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Nice run up the middle. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. He guns it left side. And this one's broken up. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. It's the 11th play of the drive. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Michigan is up seven. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. The defense had a chance here, Brad, to just end the drive. An interception there. They get the football back and a lot of momentum. Michigan is hoping to make this a two-score game. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Time to get you up to date from Eugene. And for Oregon, they're sleepwalking through this thing. They don't turn it around. They're going to get into a world of trouble. The Cougars on top, 14-7. 10 nothing in this one. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Fry from the four. He's tackling at the 30. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. He fires left side. Intercepted. It's the junior corner. He's tackled at the 45. Brad, it's still early in this game, and they might be able to get back into it. I just feel like the quarterback seems to be forcing things a bit. I understand trying to get back and fighting to get back in the game, but that time to throw an interception when you really need points, that was a big mistake. From the 45-yard line, first down. Makes the catch and look out, and they make the stop around the 37-yard line.
makes his way out to about the 25. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. That makes, that makes it second, second and ten. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. 31's the mic. Go. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Tackled for a loss. That'll make it fourth and 14. So now the ball's turned over on downs. But here's a step in the maturation of a young quarterback. How does he respond to throwing an interception on that last drive? The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. And he's level at the 34-yard line. That's a deal of level on the play. First down. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Four out there. Check it out. Out there. Four down. Four down. 35 to Mike. Check. Check. Blue 14. Blue 14. Now he's scrambling. Dives, and he's down. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's hit and taken down. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. tries to buy some time and he's going to be sacked well we talked all week with these coaches and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends they thought that they might be able to hold up against him maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside but right now whatever they thought they might be able to do they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick Down he goes, right around the 34. Gain of 11 yards. That makes it third and three. Hey, watch number five, number five, watch number five. Watch the slip, watch the slip. Check that, eight, four, 10, 18. Check 31, check 31. He's on the run, and he has it on the corner. He takes off. He gets hit out of bounds at the 27-yard line. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. He scrambled. And he's tackled around the 23-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. Indiana will have one timeout remaining. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Fires incomplete, knocked away. Third down now, they need to get it to the 17. Caught and a 
big hit. He stopped in his tracks. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. and he can't make the grab. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. 10-0, Michigan. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. These teams only play one game a week, only 12 games in a normal regular season. I think fans have a hard time understanding why their squad can come out and play without any energy, any emotion. Keep it real with us. Tell us what it's like. Why is it hard for a player sometimes in a game like this? Well, if the fans showed the same emotion, then maybe we would too as a player. Because think about it. When I walk out there and I'm playing one of the big dogs, the stadium's rocking. They're, they're going crazy. They're going ballistic. They're hydrated. You know exactly what's going on. They're into it. They've been tailgating for hours. Well, there's a reason these little games they don't get up for us. They don't get as excited. They're not yelling and screaming as much. The, you could you could turn the it's like you turn the volume down at home. I mean, you can hear the difference. I know the difference. I know I'm supposed to beat this opponent. It's a matter of just by how much I'm supposed to win by. So there is a difference. You can feel it in the fans, and, and you can feel it sometimes as a player. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and Davis, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Love from the one. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Michigan's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Fires quickly, and he's got his man brought down around the 39-yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. He's scrambling. He's at midfield. Dives forward. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He might have a chance. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Good for a gain of six yards. First down. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. 35 the mic. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and two. Complete, he's out of bounds. 
A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. It's first and ten. Ball on the 14. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. The ninth play of the drive. Throws this one out to the right. These guys were ready for the pass and played it well to come up with the deflection. It's fourth down. This one should be makeable. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and it's good. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. The Black Diamond Trophy at stake for the Hokies and the Mountaineers. Virginia Tech and West Virginia. The Mountaineers have the perfect connection and a touchdown. West Virginia with the lead, 14-7. 10-3 game here. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 22. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Michigan is up by a touchdown. And they push him out around the 29-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Get him in the backfield. Loss of one yard on the play. Third down. He makes it to the 28 yard line. That brings us fourth and three. Kramer awaits the snap. And down he goes to the 38 yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires out to his wideout. Tackle at the 42. Henderson's on the tackle at the 42 yard line. Mike 35, Mike That makes it second and six. He has some room. Gains his way to midfield. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. Hey, watch number five, number five, watch number five. Hang on, he's there. Bell! Coldwell! Oklahoma! Scrambling around. And they get the sack. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Delay of game. Offense. 
Looks like they might have been a little bit late getting the play in, and it results in a delay of game. So it's second down and 15 after the penalty. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Good pass, man open, and he dropped it. Brian, back to return it. at the 31-yard line. Indiana's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down right around the 38-yard line. And that's it for quarter number three. Folks, we got a great game on our hands. The Wolverines with a touchdown lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Michigan is up seven. Red two. Tackle made at about the 41. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. He makes it to the 42-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Got the corner. Good outside run there. Harris picks up five with the carry. That'll bring up third and four. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. Indiana has been doing special things on offense all season long, and not today. That's not what we've been expecting. This has been a shocker. These guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long. You come in expecting the same thing, and they lay an egg. Boy, I didn't expect to see this at all. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. their own 18-yard line. Second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Now 
he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 34. That makes it first and 10. Makes it to the 35 yard line. That's a too easy, too easy. That brings up second and nine. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 40. Watson brings him down at the 40 yard line. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. This quarterback is tough as nails, Brad. He's going to sit in that pocket and give himself a chance. The only problem is, at some point, you've got to have a feel. Almost that sixth sense on when to get out of there and avoid the pressure, or just to throw the ball before you get hit. He heaves it deep. And he's hit immediately. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 25 to Mike. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And down he goes at the 13 yard line. That makes it second and six. Just over a minute left. Fires that quickly, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. We're at play number nine of this current drive. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. And he throws it away. This could be it, fellas. It's fourth down. This is their last chance. They need a big play here. Quick throw out to the receiver. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. And he's tackled at the 12-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 12. Gets to about the 14-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. The Hoosiers use their second timeout. He gets to about the 4-yard line. How about that conversion on third down? Good push here by the guys up front, and they are really starting to work hard in the trenches. From their own 34-yard line, first down. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Two times, two times. Michigan is up a score. He'll go down to one knee. We had a fight to the finish here today. 10-3, Michigan. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.